A new collaboration, Islam Vain. It's a well-respected old Parisian fashion house and uh, who have a very talented designer, Albert Elbas. I didn't feel that I'm doing here a project that it's about a dress for less. I mean, it wasn't about Lanvin going now lower prices, but it was about H&M going to the luxury business. Uh, this is a typical party collection with uh, a lot of dresses, which is also typical for Lanvin. But you also have, uh, when you speak on the women's side, you also have, uh, you have a blazer, and you have uh, a trench, and uh, you have some fake fur, beautiful colors. When it, when it comes to men, it's a kind of very relaxed elegance, and uh, of course with suit and tuxedo and a shirt. It was all very personal. That's why we were not afraid to do like a pink dress and a one-shoulder ruffle dress because we went really with code of what women want and what men would love them to wear and what men want to wear. I think it's very creative, but I think it's also wearable. I think, it's, I think that is a little part of his success. I mean, many women love his dresses, but they, they can't afford them. And, uh, now it's the time, I think you can say. One time a friend of mine told me that every time she wears a long van dress, a man fall in love with her. I thought, wow, that's great. And then the day after I told her, I wish actually that next time when you wear a long van, you fall in love with a man. And she said, what's the difference? I said, active and passive. So I like those active women, women in charge. So in any case, I hope now that we have so many more dresses of Lanvin, many more women will be falling in love and many more women will be falling in love. By.